Hi, welcome to another episode of Island Homes. I'm your host, Stephanie Watkins. Today, I'm towing this 1950s built home for two reasons. It's modern design with post and beam construction and it's connection to a very famous jazz singer. I wonder who that could be. This home is a great example of modern design used in the 50s. Intended to be simple to build and budget friendly, this style of home was practical and easy to live in. This house is a 1700 square foot, three bedroom house, built on slab, built about 1950. For Jan and Mike, this home was a great find and a perfect fit. We wanted a unique house, preferably one level because Mike's knees aren't the, the greatest. Um, this place does not have any stairs whatsoever. It has no basement, it has no second floor. We wanted a, a yard that was established because I'm really into gardening and that's one of the reasons we moved to the coast. Mid 20th century homes such as this one helped to create the West Coast look. With long, low, horizontal designs, post and beam style and large overhangs to help handle the wet weather. And it was designed by a Vancouver architect named Fred Hollingsworth for a developer in Vancouver and he called it a neoteric. Though the kitchen isn't original, the layout is very close. The extra height for the clear story windows keeps the kitchen bright and open, while the soft wood tones give the kitchen a natural appeal. We upgraded the, the cabinet doors and we upgraded the countertop. This is a, a product called Flex Rock and it's just the cheapest, easiest fix. You take different colors and different texture and just roll it on and mess it around and if you don't like it just sand it down and do it again. Do it again. And, and then we found some funky little tiles Glass that tiles. Mike applied and yeah. new sink in. The original design of the home allowed traffic to flow right around, but now a wall at the kitchen breaks the circle. It provides a good place for the computer station, and on the other side of the wall, a newer ensuite provides a private bathroom space for the master bedroom, which we'll take a peek at later. We are thinking of maybe opening that up again so that you could get that same easy access to every room yeah. in the house. The flow right around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another part of this neoteric design is under height doors. These patio doors have a very unique squat look to them. The living room, complete with a clean lined craftsman style chair and funky glass coffee table, is open and flows well with the home. This is the best space to truly appreciate the mason work. Those knobbies, I have no idea. None of the other houses in, in pictures I've seen have those. I think it was just, Whoever did the brickwork just decided it would be fun to do. We'll put them in and see if, if the owners like it. Yeah. They're still here, so they must have liked it. <laughs> the fireplace was originally wood burning, but now has a more efficient sealed gas insert. The original fireplace grills help fill the space and retain some of the original feel. So tell me about this piece. Well, that was a piece of art that we had purchased in Ontario. We thought that it would fit in well. Um, it's called Northern Lights. Love the colors and it kind of does speak of the Northern Lights to me. Here in the main bathroom, the 50s modern style is still maintained. Mike and Jan decided to leave the original apple green plumbing fixtures, toilet, sink and bathtub in place and it really is a perfect fit. But the other feature I really like in here, which is quite unique in the bathroom, are the high clear story windows. Perfect for applying your makeup. The house has three bedrooms. The first one, as we circle around the home, has become a TV room. It shows bold red paint, a colorful art piece, and a comfortable sitting arrangement. The next room has become a guest bedroom, but it also has a bit of exciting history to it. We affectionately refer to it as the crawlatorium. Uh, 
Diana Krall was raised here when she was a little girl, and that's one of the reasons why it's on the Nanaimo Heritage Registry. This is the room Mike and Jan believe was maybe the bedroom of Diana Krall when she was a little girl. It features built-in cabinets, a big window with a nice view outside, and this big beam right across the ceiling. Very cute. And the final room on the tour is the master bedroom. Here, the natural wood of the ceiling stands out and the large original painting flaunts blue tones and adds serenity to the room. Past the stained glass windows is a calming view of the mature backyard. The large walk-in closet space used to be a storage area with the garage, but now serves as Mike and Jan's spacious dressing room. The only beam left natural in the house is in the dressing room. All of the beams I gather were, were wood at one point. Um, Still are. Yeah, I guess they are, but yeah. they're painted wood now. Yeah. This 1950s house is a rare find, and it may be the only one of its kind on the island. We love the city, we love the house, we love the neighborhood, and I uh, know we're just delighted. We're just absolutely loving it. Thanks for watching this episode of Island Homes. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.